Aloha everyone, I'm Heather Fleming, founder of Conscious Nutrition, and I am still here at Olana Organic Farm in Kauai, having the time of my life, and I had to share one of my favorite finds in on the farm. It's this lemon basil, like, I already like was in love with basil and I didn't know it could get better, and then bam, I found lemon basil. I made it last week with macadamia nuts, so I did a dairy-free pesto and we put it on chicken. So that would be a protein meal um, when you follow the Conscious Nutrition, three steps to make any nutrition plan work for you. Or you can put it on spaghetti squash and that would be almost a vegan meal slash starch meal or you can try a beautiful gluten-free pasta. I'm going gluten-full today because I have some pasta, homemade pasta from the farmer's market that I couldn't say no to. It was made from like spinach from angels or something like that. So what I did was <laughs> take the bait, went and picked more basil for my second take <laughs> and throw the basil in here and then um, throw in a couple garlic cloves. I already did one in the last take. Then I have this like lemon slash lime uh, cuteness. So it could be a crossbreed. It's kind of, kind of like a light green, but oh, it's so potent. It's almost like a, probably maybe a Myers version. And you can rotate your nuts. I'm doing almonds because I'm out of macadamia nuts, but I wish I had more <laughs> since I'm in or in Hawaii. So you can do some nuts and a little bit of olive oil. I put some in already on the first take. And the one thing that's a little <laughs> challenging in Hawaii, I have zero complaints, even with the tropical storms going on right now, is uh, sea salt. Um, it's just like sea sand. <laughs> it's really wet. Even the rice trick doesn't work. But if anyone has any more ideas, please let me know. Um, so I'll be in Hawaii a little bit longer uh, with an island hop. And then pepper here too. And oops, I missed a couple little basils. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Let me go ahead and chop this up for us. This pesto will last like a couple days. I'd recommend to chop it a little more. If you're putting it on meat, you could do it a little bit less because that'll be that'll give it almost like a coating. Um, but like in the pasta, it might be nicer to have it a little more chopped up. You could even chop the nuts up a little fine first too. Um, uh, amazing. So if you're up for experimenting with the different meal types, and so you can see how your body responds to those, October 1st is our fall reset. And then we do um, resets or jump starts every season. So if you're ready to see what habits are supporting you and what ones are maybe not supporting you so well, I can't wait to see October 1st. Thanks so much.